In today's video, I'm going to be showing you kind of a mini scheme out of the Carolina Panthers playbook that you can utilize very, very effectively to run the ball and pass the ball uh, well from the shotgun formation. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My channel is designed basically to help you and help myself uh, get better at Madden 21. I do this through you know, several different ways, but one of the ways that I do this is through my YouTube channel, and I post four videos a day on YouTube that are designed to kind of share some type of concept or tip or strategy that you know maybe you haven't thought of before or maybe you're already doing that can kind of help you get better and show you new ways to think about the game. So if that's something that interests you, if you want to get better at this game, I want to encourage you right now to click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Also, if you could click that little bell notification and turn your notifications on, I do go live every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. And I'd love to invite you to one of our live streams. We will be live this evening at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. All right, guys, so the audibles that you're going to set, we are in the gun Y off trio. Uh, week of the of the Carolina Panthers playbook. Ottawa's you're going to set are the counter trap, the base, the PA post dig shot, and the PA wide receiver in. You could also use the stick and up if you want to come out in that play, you can, or the slip screen, or even the draw. Um, but basically, I want to jump right in here. So first things first, you have really, really good run plays. Uh, HB base is a very, very nice run to the right, as you can see here. Um, it's a very, very good, solid run to the right, right? Three at a rushing tack. And the good part about the base is if you wanted to cut this directly up, field you very very easily could now this is not the five six trap uh, run from the gun trips out of the west coast playbook but it is a really really good run as you see you get good blocking from your receivers oftentimes you'll find that you can bounce this out run it almost like a power sweep and basically what you have to ask yourself is are you going to go outside or are you going to double juke back to the inside what i like to do is i like to generally always start running the ball to the right kind of bouncing wide and then if i feel like i need to cut back i'll do a double juke back into the, in, back to the interior of the defense okay so that's the run to the right the run to the left is even better the counter trap this year is very very effective um, it's very very hard to use her okay now sometimes you will get blown up like right there but I didn't have a numbers advantage. And basically, you just want to count your numbers. If I have numbers on the right, then I'll uh, run it to the right. If I have numbers on the left, then I'll run it to the left. You know, very, very easy uh, and very, very straightforward, but very, very effective. And you'll find that a lot of times you'll spend running this. This counter trap will open up very consistently, especially with how much man coverage people play. If people play man coverage and they try to man align their defense on this, this is going to run, is going to kill them. Now, what's also really cool and critical to know about the counter trap, it's not just an outside left run it's also a middle run um, so you'll see like right here i can run it right down field right down the middle of the field i probably shouldn't have right there but i can do it i can just cut it straight forward one thing you need to know about running the ball do not hold turbo when you get the ball just let the running this year is more of a glide it's 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 not necessarily a you know jet out you know fly type thing it's more of a glide more of a natural flow and so as you're running the ball i just want to encourage you to think that through um, but you see how big you can drive a truck through some of these running lanes um for aaron jones and th this is really the the nuts and bolts reason as to why this scheme is so powerful this is the play that you must make go now there you see they have a numbers advantage and i'm not able to get it out one thing I will show you real quick, I don't know if you can actually, like if I double juke to the right, you might be able to truly run this run to the right. Um, using the double juke to you kind of set up your cuts, you'll see right here. See that right there? See how I can kind of get out of there? That's something to kind of to keep in your back pocket. Because if they have numbers to the left and they're covered, they're they're taking all of your, they're pursuing you and they're taking your outside left run, then what you can easily do with this you know, and, and is you can kind of set this up, but there's that double juke back in. And normally in game, you're going to break those tackles. Normally in game, you're going to kind of finish those juke runs, which you'll see like right here. Um, and, and like I said, I personally really like to double juke in the backfield to kind of set up my running lanes. Um, so you see like right here, and I think I messed up there, but, but uh, you know, we'll run a couple more of these counter traps and just kind of talk about this, talk this through. But what I'm talking about is, like, if that middle lane is open, which it oftentimes will be, I've, I get this a lot. If the middle lane is wide open, take it, take it, run up the middle, don't hold turbo, just kind of glide him forward, just like that, and then you can double juke up the middle of the field. 
and try to get some more yardage. So you have a run to the left, you have a run to the right, and you have a run to the middle. So what more can you ask for? Well, you need some passing plays to complement this. And one of the best passing plays in Madden 21 is the PA post dig shot. This play right here is a shot play. Literally, all you're going to do, what I like to do personally, is take the tight end and put him in a drag. I love to just keep the play action on because we have been running the ball a lot. But you're going to read, literally, you're going to read drag to cross or to in route to big post. That's that's very, very straightforward and very, very simple. But you're going to go right here. Now, you'll see the the deep crosser oftentimes will get wide open, uh, as you can see. Now, if they're shading their coverages back, you know, like most people will do, then he won't. Um, but if they are shading those coverages back, you know, you're going to have a lot more open than just that. Oh, whoops, I don't think I, I think I ran the wrong play on that one. Um but that deep post route is a one play score against most zone coverages in the game if he gets over that safety. So um, sometimes, you know, because he gets so delayed in the route, you know, I would I would say, you know, you want to make sure you're still reading that crossing route. Because if the crossing route is open, um, that's the route that you're going to hit right up in here. And you see how you can catch it, rack catch it upfield and be able to get upfield very easily. So that's covered. You know, that's that's most uh, most zone coverages. And like I said, you're just going to keep that little drag route on. I like to cancel the play action as soon as he goes because it's going to get the same effect. And you can just pass lead those guys open basically against zone coverages. Either cross, you're not going to go. You're going to find that a lot of times they're going to they're going to completely bite on the run with their user. Um, and it's going to leave some wide open lanes for you to throw through. Uh, and you have really, really good passing plays from this this formation. The next play that we're going to talk about is PA wide receiver. And you see here, tight ends on a drag route. Really no adjustments necessary. The only adjustment I would do is put Taylor on a hitch route against man-to-man -man if you know it's man-to-man. -man. But what you'll see here is this post route um, to Marquez Valdez scantling You have to throw it at a you have to throw it at different points for different defenses. So like right there, that was cover three. I should have thrown that ball a lot earlier than I did. But let me come back and show you here. And I'll just run PA wide receiver in really quickly uh, a couple times through. You see it looks kind of like that base run. See how they blitz sometimes? If they're not pass committing the defensive blitz, you can pop that that um, you can pop that uh, wheel route sometimes against uh, against a run committed if they, you know, or whatever, if they're doing any of that stuff. But you'll see against man-to-man, -man, um, this dig route is going to come open very easily for you. Um, the post route oftentimes will come open. I would actually probably put Devonta Adams on the right side as opposed to the left side. But I love the fact that you have two really solid post routes uh, within one within one formation, one from the right, one from the left. You also have your running plays. But so, like, if you got something like this, you'll see here they're in man-to-man -man coverage. Oftentimes, Valdez Scantling is going to get that diving catch animation if you throw it on the cut. Um, he's going to get kind of that nice little big diving catch animation. Um, here's cover three. You see, if I throw it a little bit earlier, it's going to sit right in the pocket against the zone coverage. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of things that you can do with this little formation, this little play. Um, but this, this dig route really serves as a nice check down. And then against cover four, um, Oftentimes, you'll be able to hit that deep post over because you have a nice little cover four beating concept uh, on your field right there. But there you see there's Marquez Valdez Scantling just consistently working against cover three. So, you know, this play really does beat zone. And when you mix it in with your running plays, I'm telling you right now, um, when you mix it in with your running plays, this, this offense really does a lot. And oftentimes, like I said, with the base run, I would encourage you to start running as if it was a power sweep. And then cut back if you have to. So I'm running wide, and then I have to cut back, so I do. You know, and right there, I, you know, that's gonna, it's, it's a little bit more like high risk, high reward. But the rewards, the payoffs are really, really effective. And as you see right there, there is the cutback lane for you to just kind of jump cut into, double juke into these cuts. Uh, I think it helps open up the running lanes a little bit more. I think it helps with the blocking a little bit more. I think it's just a better way to do it. And then when you combine that with this counter uh, counter trap, uh, the counter trap, if you run it against the right defense, is probably the best run in Madden 21. So, anyways, guys, I just wanted to share this scheme with you. I hope it was helpful. And we have more free schemes coming for you, for more free mini schemes. Also, one thing I do want to encourage you to do, 
If you have not already picked up the text message uh, membership, my video is going to be going out tonight uh, on money for for you guys. So uh, what I want to encourage you to do, all you have to do to pick that up is basically just text me. My number is in the description. It's also in the top left corner of your screen. But what the texting membership is, is every single week I will send, I will basically sit down and talk about kind of where I see the high level, you know, parts of the game kind of where I see the meta going kind of you know some things you can do to kind of counter things and, and just kind of a little bit more of a deeper dive on where Madden's at where Madden's going what you need to know about it and what you need to do about it and so if you want to get access to that exclusive video again I don't post it on my YouTube channel I just text it to my uh, texting members and it is my personal cell phone right there's no games here you know I'm just a normal person just like everybody else so um, if you want to shoot me a text I will uh, save you in my phone please send your name uh, when you do send it or your or your username if you want to your PlayStation username or Xbox username just so that I can save you and in my phone so I kind of know who's who I'm talking to uh, that'd be great but thank you guys so much for your support really has been amazing and if you would do me a favor and join the discord um, you can do that as well in the description of this video thank you so much for your time we've got our live stream coming here in a few hours uh, at 10 o'clock eastern and then we will have more youtube videos for you on our channel so be sure to check back again we do post four videos every single day thank you